Well, if the IRS had hoped to intimidate conservative groups like Tea Partiers right out of existence, singling out their tax status may have just achieved the opposite. Because now it is Tea Partiers who are once again flexing their muscle and the IRS is running for cover. What exactly happened? Let's ask Jebediah Bila, Julie Roginski, and Matt Schlapp. Uh, Jebediah, what, what happened? Well, the Tea Party was fed up, and they decided they weren't going to take it anymore. And, I think and they're suing. Been, now they're suing. Yeah, exactly. And I think there's been a question for a long time. I've been on debate panels this whole year saying, is the Tea Party dead? And I've said, I don't think so. I think they're going to come out. I think there's going to be a surge. And I think this was a key issue for them. These conservative groups were targeted. Their day-to-day -day business practices were hindered as a result. They're turning around and saying, this is the overreach of government that we've been battling against for the longest time. And now, with the IRS being responsible for Obamacare implementation, I think it linked two key issues that they really care about, which is government overreach and Obamacare. This is worst-case scenario, and they're articulating that to the public. And isn't the IRS making its case worse when uh, Lois Lerner, the woman who was overseeing this division that included the tax exempt status for, uh, you know, groups, uh, is going to be pleading the fifth tomorrow. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Listen, what happened with the IRS and the Tea Party is egregious, and you don't have to be a liberal or a conservative to agree that this is in no way, shape, or form something we need to do. Uh, our government cannot behave this way towards any group. I will say, you know, the Tea Party has a tendency to sort of operate um, in an echo chamber. They talk to themselves. They get themselves ginned up. They may get a few others ginned up. I don't and liberals know. don't do that. I d well, no, we do. <laughs> we certainly do. But, you know, you only have a certain amount. Like, if you look at the polls today, for example, Obama is still exactly where actually he's doing a little better than he was before these scandals began. So I don't know. Well, but by the same poll, and you're right, he is. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Matt, some of those same polls say, what, I think it is three out of four Americans don't like this IRS thing. Right. Uh, and they haven't put it and pegged it to the president yet. But, um, they could, and that could change everything, uh, especially when his chief counsel isn't telling him about what the uh, you know inspector general is saying about this, for maybe perfectly valid legal reasons. But it is complicating the administration's argument to be proactive when, in fact, its best defense now is ignorance. Yeah, I, I think the fact that Ms. Lerner is pleading the fifth really is a, is, is a bad sign for the Obama administration. It means that the story, if she were to be forthcoming, is even more problematic probably than we know. It also means that she'll probably eventually cut a deal to get some kind of immunity to really be forthcoming. But the most problematic thing here, Neil, is that the, the, the argument that the Obama administration is using is saying, we didn't know this was happening. We weren't orchestrating this. These were rogue agents. If that was the case, wouldn't we see abuses of both the left and the right? Why, is, why are all the abuses on Tea Party groups, conservative groups, groups that wanted to fight Obama, and their donors who wanted to contribute to conservative causes? That's the most troubling well, thing that, here that for would, the Obama administration. That would mean that it was politically motivated at the behest of the White House. Now, what do you make well, of that argument? Be careful, because, Jeff and I, that liberal groups have been targeted before as well by different uh, IRSs, different administrations, never on, on this scale. But, but, but the, the point is that... Um, it could be rogue operators who are encouraging what they think the boss, i.e. the president, might like without the president doing anything. My question is accountability. I want whoever is responsible for this to be held accountable. Well, who do you think is? At, well, I'm not, I'm not sure. And the problem is when we have these hearings, and I've been watching them today, I watched them last week, you get no answers. You talk to Miller, you talk to Shulman, you get absolutely no answers. They seem How to have no How did this Shulman no get to be an acting it, commissioner? It's astonishing to me. And what's more astonishing to me is that in these hearings, when they come forth, they have plenty of time to sit and think about it. In my opinion, they have plenty of time to sit and dig into their memories. They can't. They can't recall didn't why know. they didn't. didn't know. Why they didn't well. disclose certain information to Congress that they had in their hands at the time about which groups were being targeted. Why? Tell me why. But you're talking about people that have absolutely nothing to do with the White House. See, there's a big difference between. Very fair. As, as Very you fair. Said, there's a but big do you difference. think it could be rogue agents just doing their thing I on do. a scale of this magnitude? Sure. I mean, really? why, why wouldn't it be? I'm not you're suggesting that what? Barack Obama sitting. No, no, no. I'm not. I, mean, that, 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 I didn't say that. So but for them to is, be acting independently or keeping it contained within the agency and leave it at that. Here's what I think the issue is. What's, the issue what's is worse? These five, what I think the issue is is that these 501c4s got created after uh, Citizens United. That they do need to be looked and at. And you saw the president make a big deal of it at a State of the Union address. And if you are a like minded, or equally right. offended IRS, think, wouldn't you say the boss would like I don't it think if it's I went in? like minded, in. I think they actually do need to be looked at on both okay, sides. Fine, on both fine. sides. But, but, but they took a leap beyond but, what was fair. Ex exactly right. That's the worry, Matt, that, that you could be That's doing right. things at what you think is the behest of, of higher ups, right?
Here, let me ask you a question, Neil. What's worse, the president or his people sending signals to the IRS to, to break people's First Amendment rights, or the IRS is a rogue agency that is politically motivated against Americans who are conservatives. I don't think one is better than the other. I well, think no, they're both terrible. It's a very terrible. good point. But by the way, I ask I the questions here. Uh, but uh, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but here's the one thing I have a, a tough time with it. That if, if the best defense is going to be ignorance, that you didn't know what was going on, and it might be perfectly valid and fine. So much for hands-on leadership. Well, exactly. I think people, that, that's what they're starting to realize. Where's the leadership in this administration? And it doesn't just deal with this issue. The problem is also for me that if you look at Benghazi, if you look at all of the scandals that are coming out right now, it seems to me that Barack Obama is the last to know about a lot of things. Why doesn't well, he know? Well, let's not say the lead yet, no, but are you no, worried I mean, that this is, is going to be an indictment on his leadership? I think on. if you're the president, there is such a firewall between you and anybody that has any kind of scandalous behavior that unless you're Richard Nixon, chances are no. you're not directly I don't know. You give I'll the give boss you an no, you're you're the president, and, and you're supposed no. to give the boss. With all due respect, you had Ron right. Contra, Reagan saying he knew nothing about it. You had Bush you're saying right. he didn't no, know about intelligence failures right. with you know the CIA over Ignorance and over Ignorance is and over rarely again. a defense. If that Ignorance were the case, I, I would have never made it through college. But um, <laughs> guys, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, it's a mess. We will cover those hearings and the impact of those hearings tomorrow, whether they testify or not.